Welcome. Today I would like to talk about uh, Angular 2 reactive forms and uh, validators, custom validators. So let's get started. So basically I have a, a component which is very simple just showing HTML with a name and a street and I can show it to you right now what it is. So you can see the form is basically HTML and in the component I don't really have anything special going on. So let's just see how you can uh, essentially make it a reactive form that is essentially driven by the TypeScript. So first thing what you want to do is uh, to in your TypeScript you want to import the various uh, classes that you need and I'm going to import those uh, just as a first uh, and I can show you what they are basically the form builder, the form group, the validators and the form control because you would need that in TypeScript. The second thing you want to get into your TypeScript is essentially two functions uh, and I will explain to you what they are in a second. So let me just uh, get them here. Uh, essentially uh, what you want to do is uh, in your constructor uh, what you do is you get something called a form builder. So I'm going to create a local variable called fp and it's going to be a form builder. And when that happens, I'm just going to uh, essentially call the create form function. And this is a variable which we are essentially storing so I can just add a declaration for it. So it is a form group. So as you can see, it gets a form builder and inside the form builder, you want to create a form. So what you do is you access what is called a form builder and you have a group. And here I am adding basically a first input field as name, the second input field as street, and you give it an array. And in the first, you can just provide the text you want the value for that. So in this case is gore. In the street is yogi and here I'm providing what are called validators is basically these are uh, standard validators that are available in angular 2 so I'm calling and saying I need a validator where the minimum length should be 3 and this one says validators is required and here is my custom validator function validate name and this function is actually pretty straightforward what it says is uh, it, essentially angular 2 will inject the form control that it is specific to in this case the name and I'm returning an error object so this would essentially uh, return an error so I believe this is all you need in the TypeScript and let me copy into the HTML what uh, I've already prepared for you and I will kind of walk you through that it's pretty straightforward so let's just copy this new Essentially what it is saying is that uh, I don't want to do any HTML validation. The form group is going to be called form. And here we have something which is angular to specific called the form control name. And this is going to be say name, this is going to be street. And here for angular from the form, there is a field that is set called status. And I'm printing it out so we can take a quick look. And in the modules, you have to just make sure that you uh, get uh, the reactive module uh, included. So let me just make sure I get that in the reactive forms module and we're just going to import it as well. So I believe that's all you really need to have available to uh, see everything that's going on. And let's say what uh, what it does. So as you can see, this uh, pretty much works. It got the value of the name, and here you can see it is saying this is invalid, and and the reason it's saying it's invalid is because of the custom validator. The custom validator is returning invalid because it was returning an error object. So if I go into my uh, validator, and if I don't want to return an error object. Uh, I can just comment this out for example and return a null uh, which means there is no error. So now let's see what happens. It still says it's uh, now you can see that it is valid 
and the reason it's valid is because I have put in a name here if I don't have a name it can see it's invalid so you can see we can have uh, two validators basically working on one of the one essentially one field so this actually uh, style of programming does make it a little bit easier because you don't want to complicate your HTML with a lot of things like name ng model and uh, this is a pretty easy way to do that so hopefully you enjoyed this and I'll put this video on my website under Gore Associates and thank you for watching this short screencast and you have a great day.